We've got ourselves a couple of fun moments between Jazz Chisholm and the Nationals. First is the bottom of the third, Nats leading 3 0 with two outs, and Chisholm worked himself to a 2 0 count. Fetty, who is the pitcher, is forced to throw in the zone with the changeup, but that gets smoked over the lights into the second deck. It's so vacant except for these two guys who get up and start climbing the seats. Look at this guy in the Nats dugout. He's bald and has his arms crossed. That's like the universal symbol for discontent. Back to the fans. It seems that White Jacket has found a new strategy. Using the stairs and he has gained ground on Red Jacket who's been dragging his whole leg over when getting over the chairs. Really inefficient and we never get to see who gets the ball. But anyway, as Chisholm approaches home plate, he Euro steps into home plate and thanks the sky. I love this by the way, players getting creative with their celebrations. Let's take another look at the move. He stutter steps into the Euro, but he doesn't get to home plate so he takes a normal step after. That is 100% a travel. He needs to grow 6 inches and a long beard to be able to get away with that. This ump starts turning around. He's got a little yellow stuff on his face. I don't know if that's a camera issue or something. The Marlins and the Nats then play again. Once again in the bottom of the third with two outs. But this time no runs have scored and Chisholm has a 1-2 count. Rogers is on the mound and he throws a slider. Strikes out Chisholm and he does a euro back to him. But the camera cuts away because the TV network thought showing an emotionless Chisholm was more entertaining. Luckily we get the angle after the commercial break. And we get to see Rogers Euro step off the mound. This one's a travel too, but he starts walking after. But yeah, some pretty cool celebrations by these players. Thanks for making baseball interesting.